Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up a OnePlus smartwatch. In this example, I'm setting up the OnePlus Watch 3. So what we wanna do first is make sure that our phone has Bluetooth turned on. You should be able to find Bluetooth in your settings. Just make sure that that is on. And then also we want to download and install the o Health app. So I'm on an Android device, so I'm opening up the Google Play Store to find this app. And then we wanna search for the OHealth app, opening that up. And when we get to the OHealth app, we're gonna go ahead and click install and have that install onto our phone. And once it's downloaded and installed, we're gonna head back to our homepage to find the app. If you're on an Android device, you can scroll up from the bottom screen area. It should have your apps listed in here. Once you find the OHealth app, we can hold our finger down on it and then we can move it up onto our home screen or wherever we'd like it to be located. Now we're going to power on our watch. We can do that with this button down here, holding it for a handful of seconds until we see the OnePlus logo start up there on our watch. And it'll take just a little bit of time for the watch to wake up initially. So with our device initially booted up, now we need to set it up on our phone. So we're gonna do this through the o Health application. Select your country or region and then click continue. And then you can look over the o Health statement and if it looks good to you, you can click agree. And then once we get to the home page, we wanna click on where it says devices in the bottom right hand corner and then click on where it says add device. And we're gonna give it permission to scan for nearby Bluetooth devices. So click allow and then click allow again. Select the type of device that you're going to add. So for me, it's the OnePlus Watch 3. And then it's gonna search for that device in your general vicinity. I see it showing up right here, so I'm gonna click on that. And then you can look over the terms of service and if everything looks good for you there, you can click I agree. Then it's gonna be pairing to your watch. You wanna make sure that the code on your watch is the same code that shows up here. And if it is, we can click pair. And then we can also click the check mark here. And then it's pairing up with our phone. And then it says complete setup on your phone. So we can take a look at the terms of use and if all that looks good, you can check this box and then click continue. Select which wrist that you're going to be using this on. For me, it's gonna be my left wrist and I'm gonna be using standard mode and I'm gonna allow it to sync phone communications and calendar events between my phone and watch. So I'm gonna click allow and then it's gonna be preparing our watch and then you're gonna sign in to your Google account to link things up. And then I'm gonna activate Google Assistant, so I'm gonna set this up. And if you'd like, you can have your Google Assistant wake up with this phrase. I like just using the button to wake it up. It's holding this button up here for about a second or so, and then Google Assistant will come up. That's the way I prefer using it, so I'm gonna skip this option. So like I said, I'm gonna to talk to my assistant using the button, this crown button up here. And now Google Assistant is all set up and ready to go how I prefer it. You can set up a lock screen password if you would like, whether you want it numeric or a pattern. I'm not gonna do this currently. If you use your watch for payments, for instance, you're gonna need something like this to protect that payment option. And then you can select which apps that you would like downloaded and installed onto your device. If you'd like to use your watch for payments, you hold the top of your watch to the reader. The NFC signal is strongest at the top of the watch. It's completing the setup process. If you had a lot of apps that you wanted to add onto your watch, then this is where it will go through that process. And my watch now says that it is all set up. So from here, you can select which type of watch face that you would like to use and then customize it to your preferences. And then you can also learn how to use your new watch through this little tutorial. So we'll go through that. Let's start with swipes. Swipe up for notifications. Swipe down for the control settings. Swipe right to go back. You can press the crown to return to the watch face. And while on the watch face, if you click the crown, it will open up all of your apps, which is a nice little thing to see there. You can open workouts by pressing this button down here on the side. And then you can select which type of workout you'd wanna use. And once you finish the tutorial, then you should be good to go to use your new OnePlus watch. So I hope this quick tutorial on how to set up a OnePlus watch was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.